differently. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. It's, you know. Step it up, but nothing formal like we're wearing, Hello. they say. Mm. <laughs> well, a, a burger chain learns to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> and a woman has a rare daytime encounter with a curious <laughs> thief critter. <laughs> Go to stand by with the two minutes of mayhem. All right. This next story makes you convinced that you're only supposed to get in the tub, and that is it. Uh -oh. A woman visiting from Maryland will have quite the summer vacation story to share when she returns home, people. Christian Porter was sitting on a floaty in Cujillo Beach when out of nowhere, something bit her. Uh-uh. She thought it was a what? fish, and then something more serious when blood pooled into the water. Oh, her son gosh. and two strangers helped her out, and once on land, a lifeguard explained it was an eel bite. Oh! Yeah, even local scientists were surprised about the bite since eels are mostly active at night and prefer rocky areas. There are five or six eel species in Hawaii that could cause a bite like the one Porter had, but one expert believes it was a moray eel. Oh, peekaboo. Uh, uh. Wow. Oh. oh. Come in. Just just tub for me. <laughs> Hurricane Hector swirling around the Central Pacific has weakened slightly, but it remains a Category 4 storm. We know that thanks in part to this awesome team. They're NOAA's first all female Hurricane Hunter flight crew. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are talking about bad, you know what? Shut People your mouth. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> this photo was posted to Twitter courtesy of another Hurricane Hunter named Nick Underwood. They flew directly into the hurricane Sunday and then came out safely on the other side. Yes. That's how we get that information that we point we put on the screen about the wind speed, yeah. barometric pressure. We actually fly people into a hurricane. <laughs> it's insane. There's got to be a better way to do this. The most accurate information, I guess. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and bless the burgers in the UK. Burger King in the UK issued a challenge to its Twitter followers. If their tweet got a thousand retweets, they promised to play Toto's Africa <laughs> all day on repeat in one of the restaurants. Of course, Twitter responded, and the tweet has over 6,000 retweets. The company revealed a lucky story in Camden Town, <laughs> inviting people to come along and sing along with Africa. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> and you're never too old to rock out! Ow! Yes, two elderly men slipped away from their nursing home for a night on the town. We're not talking about Studebakers in a drive in movie, though. No, they escaped their German nursing home to attend a metal music festival. Wow. Not just any festival, though. They went to the Wacken Open Air, the largest heavy metal festival in the world. Aww. They eventually were found dazed and confused at 3 a.m., hours after the retirement home reported them missing. The metalheads were reportedly very reluctant to leave the festival. They had to be escorted out in a taxi with a police escort. Breaking the law, breaking the law. That I is have so now cute. Seen my future. That's that's, <laughs> that's sort of stuff that I'm you. doing one day. Oh, yep. Man. I yeah. see it. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Breaking the law. <laughs> I know. I know. That's two minutes of me. Yeah. Peace. Yeah.